Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a good day. Sun's out. The weather's nice. It's great. I'm ready to go. Feels wrong there, but whatever. All right, let's grab these crappy clan boss drops and get rolling with what we're doing today. I put four keys in, in hard yesterday and got nothing for it. Had no luck. All right, I'm at normal from now on. Ever. Never going above normal. Uh, we are still making food. We, we are making progress. We're getting there. I've got another 40 maxed and another 40 very close to maxed. So once they, once they get maxed, I've just got to ascend them. I'm sorry, not ascend them, uh, rank them up. And we're already halfway to ranking one of them up. We're getting there. I'm, I still think by the, by the end of the week, maybe by tomorrow even, that, that 500 stack of energy we got from the login calendar last night was a big help. So I'm going to keep grinding out uh, level uh, food. And then I think I might even burn through a few gems. I'm trying to let my gems get up a little bit more so that when I upgrade my gem mine, I don't feel it as much. It doesn't hurt as bad to do. But um, we might use a couple gems for refills today because I'm ready to get this done. Because I'm ready to start focusing on some of these other champs. I got a lot of things I want to do and play around with and experiment with. And I'm just focusing everything I'm doing on making food right now, so that's not happening. One thing I did was I threw some gear on Jai's out and uh, got him ascended so I could I could start playing around with him a little bit. Pretty decent gear on him for now, actually. We, we, we had some speed boots drop from somewhere. I don't, I guess it had to have been campaign, maybe. I don't know, I don't remember where I got him, but um, we got him. So threw those on him, speed perception, very basic stuff for now, but it's decent enough. So we're gonna we're gonna play around with him a little bit as we as we get him leveled up, and then like I said, we we've got a lot of food on the come up here. We managed to get a few more war maidens to drop, and of course more berserkers. So let me go ahead and keep skilling this dude up. So many berserkers, dude. Uh, but we did we did manage to get a couple more to drop and we got lucky and they went to the a3 so we got a little bit of a better chance one more in here and we can chill a little bit on that but it's nice to see a few of them drop so fi finally broke through whatever that <laughs> that wall was that wasn't allowing her to drop so we're doing that what do we got in faction wars right now barbs and i bet we could get a little bit further in barbs actually barbs a little bit further in barbs Your guess is as good as mine, dude. I could probably chunk a little gear on him too, actually. I've, I've thought about that recently. When people say, uh, chuck something. All of my life I've said chunk. And that's just always felt correct to me. And I've noticed I still do it. I could chunk a little gear on him. It's not though. It's not correct. And I probably will never change it. Because I don't like saying chuck. He really chucked it. Nah, don't like it. Don't like it one bit. I think I am going to throw a little bit of gear on Berserker. Just very crappy nothing stuff. Just to fill the, the, the spots and give him a, a little bit of stats. So that maybe we can come in and three star some of these stages. And get some rewards. Get some of these Faction Wars rewards. Um, if you missed it, a little bit earlier, I put out a video on Awaken Chaos Era. I get asked almost every time I stream if I'm playing it, and occasionally in my comments here on YouTube, and the answer's been no for a long time. I finally started playing it, so if you want to check it out, uh, I'll, I'll card to it up there. It was an upload earlier today. We do. Uh, I bought some shards, so we did some summons, and then I show you a promo code for it, and um, there's a link in that video if you're not playing it and you want to play it. There's a link to download it if you want to support me a little bit. I'll get a little kickback from it uh, on Blue Stacks. And if there's still room, you can join our guild, which again, you'll find all that information in that video. So if you haven't, if you're like me and you've been putting off checking it out and me checking it out pushes you over the line and you want to go check it out, uh, there you go. 
you are free to do so. Here's what we'll do. We will get this off my screen. We'll throw a couple brews in him just for a few levels. And then I'm going to throw some very basic gear on him real quick and see if we can't three star these stages. Tell me, what do you do again? Turn meter if he crits, extra turn if he gets a kill. AOE ignores defense, so we want to get crit on him. So what do we got going on? What do we got going on for Berserker here? Maybe that one. Maybe that one. Yeah, let's do that. Do that one. That one. And I don't care about accuracy. I do care about damage though, so how about... Uh, I don't care about accuracy though. Here's, a, here's something we should look at real quick. Do we have any speed boots? Cruel. Yes, we'll give him those. Why not? Because I do intend to use him, so... I need to see what else I got for Cruel, though. I, I'm, oh, let's clean that out real quick before it gets out of hand. I know I could go set the filter to sell it, but I just don't want to. I don't want to accidentally sell something that I have plans to use. You know what I mean? Like if I've got four star uncommon something else some maybe speed boots or something somewhere you know what i'm saying i don't want to accidentally do it so let's do this all right what do we got what do we got accuracy attack so it's got to be a weapon got to be the old weapon probably that one actually probably this one because i want the i want the guaranteed crit bump and then now we need to find him some crit rate gloves. Potentially that. That's ideal. That's ideally what we're looking for. I could give him immortal actually. Help his sustainability just a, just a tit. It's probably the best bet right now short of going a broken set for him. Let's give him a mortal. Let's give him an immortal set to help him stay alive a little bit. Bump this stuff up to eight. I reckon I reckon we should be three starring. A few stages anyway. I need to see if I've ascended him yet too. We can ascend him if we haven't. I don't believe that I have. I'm not even sure if he gets anything aside from a stat bump, but ugly gloves. I'm gonna be real with you. There's some, some real ugly gloves. I think the gloves... Actually, I could take... I could take... I could take this stuff to 12. I'm doing pretty well on silver right now. We're not doing much but making food, which is shooting our silver up. So we'll take this stuff to 12. I'll ascend him and we'll jump back in and see what we can do. I love the crit rate roll too, baby. Let's go. Love the crit rate rolls. Dude, those rolled really nicely. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, we'll take this to 12. I mean, all things considered, to be four-star boots, you know. Not bad. Can your boy get attack percentage or speed here? Or resistance is fine, I guess. Crit rate. Give me some crit rate. Anything but HP. Itchy nose, dude. Perfect. We should be okay on crit rate, actually. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Let's get some potions in you if we've got them. Oh, can we get you to three? I don't think we can. Ooh, we can actually. Fine, let's do it. Okay. Now I reckon we can get some, some three stars in here. So let's hop back in. Let's see how it goes. None of them have an aura, so get out of my face. Rat bastard. Well, 
wonder why he didn't AOE in that last wave. I'm not complaining. It worked out. Bro, I hate that. But I wonder why he didn't AOE with four enemies alive. Interesting. That's it. That's interesting there. He seems to have good AI. That's <laughs> that's weird. That is weird to see without it needing to be programmed. <clears throat> oh my god. There he went. He, he AoE'd there. Maybe, maybe he was doing it and I'm missing it in the first wave. I feel like I wasn't though. I, don't, I feel like I feel like I wasn't missing it. <clears throat> He's one that I've always had my eye on from very, very early on in raid and just never you know what I mean? You pull better options and you don't really bother anymore. So I'm, he's one I'm excited to give a chance. So in a way, I guess I'm glad I've been getting skill ups for him and stuff because he'll be ready to roll pretty soon. Um, but I would also like some war maiden, some more war maidens to drop because I've got to get her booked up too. And I don't really want to put books in her. I also am, I need to see if I can continue to fuse uh, Justicer because. If I can, I'll just keep fusing him and skill him up that way. We'll try to be a little bit efficient with our books because as we progress, rare books are gonna be a little bit harder to come by. I don't think they drop um, as often as they used to. So I feel like rare books are gonna be somewhat scarce. So I wanna be careful-ish about how I use them. Here we go, baby. Making some good progress here. I, I imagine we'll, we'll get another reward. At least one more reward from the, the little Faction Wars progression thing. decent little squad here. Got to get them some support at some point, but they're doing pretty well. All right, here we go. Can we can we withstand this and get the three stars? Gah. Easily. Easily. Making moves, baby. We're going to take it as far as we can. I reckon we won't three star this stage. I would think we probably won't three star this one. I feel like we start taking some hits now. <clears throat> hey, mix it up a little, you know? Maybe. We might get to go into this last wave with fresh cooldowns. She might get to AoE defense break. We might be okay. Ooh. You don't hit him, you can't kill him. Okay. Uh oh. Can we do anything about this? Do we have any crowd control or buff removal here? We might be screwed. I'm not sure we can do anything about this. Maybe maybe Trugor will eventually hit him with a uh, with a cooldown increase. I might need a manual. I don't know if he'll I don't know if he'll try to do it. I think that's going to be our best bet though. Hit him with a cooldown increase. I don't think we have. I 
don't think we have any way to take that off of him. Yeah. Well, this is, we're just gonna have to wait on him to do what he does, I reckon. And hopefully not die in the meantime, because he's being targeted now. <sighs> All right, we need you to do this. for a little bit. Ally protection on him is good. Dead gummit. <laughs> okay, well if we if we decide to back out and do it again, we just know we need to target him first before he puts that up on himself. We could we could look up and get a stun actually. He's got we got two opportunities with him to to prevent this from happen. Oh, what happened? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Worked out. I don't know what happened. Maybe we hit the cooldown and I missed it. Not sure. Either way, we're at the boss. I know they're not going to beat the boss. So I'm not going to bother. Ancient shard and a three star chicken. I will take that dude. That'll help us in our on our path to six star and Gallic. And another ancient here, baby. We're piling them up. Okay, let's poke our nose in here real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop up these. And then regular arena. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, I think I had dropped. I think I think I had a fresh list there, that gummit. using one. I, I, I'm not sure if Jizo is quite ready to be used in here. Oh, there we go. We get to refresh it that way. Um, okay. Ooh, how fast? How fast? And can we take the hit? Oh, not fast at all. Get off me, boy. Get off me, boy. <laughs> we used to play football every day. Um, literally every day for hours. And we had a dude that used to come and he he was good. He was he, he liked playing like running back. And he when he'd shrug someone off or stiff arm. Get off me, boy. While he was running. It was so funny. <laughs> all these years later that's been that's been what shoot that's been like 15 plus years ago man still remember it the good old days like we could sneak a win out of this one i really do man she's also a champ that that is interesting to me i'm excited to build her on this account as well i thought she was farmable forever she just i don't know why i just grouped her in with the farmable champs and that's the way it was but i'm gonna see if we can't steal a win here i feel like we might be able to unless they're faster than i think they are okay we're gonna do this Hopefully she'll survive and get an opportunity to cleanse. Or we can just land the provoke now. There it is. GG. Sixties, I'm not. I'm not so confident with yet. I feel like sixties are going to hit us harder than we can withstand right now. This one, I'm flirting with the idea of, but he's preventing me from doing it. 
Let's try it. Let's see. What's the worst that can happen? We lose. So what? Uh oh. <laughs> He's faster than us. Crap. Well, there you go. That that's the worst that could happen. That. We'll beat our campaign boss three times, and then we'll get back to grinding food, man. Uh, I'm gonna shoot. I'm really trying to get him six starred by the end of the week. So if not in tomorrow's episode, if he's not six starred by then, then then definitely by Saturday's episode, hopefully. Um, let's pop one ancient just for the hell of it. See if we get anything interesting. Another dwarf, dude. We are collecting all the dwarves. Was he new? He was. Man, look, we are getting so many dwarves, dude. Let me look at what he does. See if he's going to be someone we want to keep around. Where is he? Right here. Boltsmith. Um, A12 hitter. Yeah. Crit rate and crit damage buff on himself for two turns and then grants an extra turn. Okay. And then... Okay. So potential for a decent single target nuke here. With a savage set and helm smasher we're, we're, we're pushing... Um, pushing fully ignoring the defense with a crit rate, crit damage buff. That leaves us a lot of room to build him. We only need to get him to 70 crit rate. Okay. There's... Yeah. We'll, we'll do some. Oh, I got him from a green shard too. Apothecary's uh, like weird cousin that you probably don't want to leave your kids around. That's how I feel about this dude. He's he's the uncle that doesn't get to be alone with the kids. You know what I'm saying? Weird, weird dude. Revive on death, reflect damage on a target ally, and then heals. AOE heal reduction. On a four turn. I mean, I don't know. We'll lock him just in case. But anyway, that's it. We're going to get out of here for today. I appreciate you guys watching. And yeah, hopefully tomorrow or Saturday we get Galaxy Six starred and then we can like open up a little bit and really start getting these at the champs rolling. So I'm excited to do that. Um, hope you're excited. <laughs>